Yo guys, what's up? You maybe saw my live stream, maybe not, but I just did a live stream. Um, it was just a live live stream, that means it won't be out afterwards. So shout out to the people who participated in that one. But now I want to talk about Kevin Laroni again, once again. Um, one thing about uh, what I like about Kevin or the idea that he's back is that he's bringing some um fun into it again and some stuff to talk about some um action into it because other than that you know it, it's pretty much very boring you don't see anything of phil heath you don't see much things about the guys from the top six in general other than dex jackson what i really like dex the the, the great series for the miss olympia 2018 once again with his camera team, great episode. I think I watched every episode. He even did one when he was in Vegas already. So he did a great job on that. So shout out to him. But other than that, you don't have much, you know. Bodybuilding is not in the news, it's not in the TV. It's, it's just, you have to do news based on Instagram posts and things like that. But it's, forget about that. We know Kevin Laroni wants to compete at the Honor Classic 2018. So the the Australian Honor Classic in March next year. One or two weeks after the regular Honor Classic in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, at the very beginning of March. So in the middle of March, we have the Honor Classic Australia 2018. And Kevin Laroni, who already said that he will compete there, made a new video, you know, he had a new video with MD Muscular Development and that's how I see it, or how is it called? And he said that he actually wants to win the contest. He wants to win the Honor Classic Australia 2018. So before I, uh, you know, reveal you my thought about it, my two cents on it, um, I want to tell you one thing, one thing before, before judging. Um, he was 224, I think, at the Mr. Olympia, okay, 224 pounds, and he wants to be, that was not heavy for him, you know, at the contest, and he wants to be 244 to 248, so at least 20 pounds heavier on stage next time. He wants to do that. If he can do it, if he will do it, that's, you know, on another piece of paper but if he would gain the 20 pounds or the 24 pounds let's say and compete with a solid 248 near to 250 at the honor classic australia he still wouldn't win the contest i think and that's no hating i like him but you know it's reporting it's you know you'd have to be objective a little bit if i love uh, let's say um the last place of the olympia who was it let's say johnny jackson i know he's retired but let's say i love johnny jackson as a fan and i watched the mr olympia and i report about it and i say you know johnny will win it he will uh, he's way better than phil Heath. that's not true you know what i mean so there is one thing what you want to happen and that is one thing what will happen or what will realistically happen so realistically i think even if he gains 20 pounds that would be a huge shock in the bodybuilding community positively but dennis wolf will be there i think brandon curry will compete there and that will be hard because they're in their prime so to say especially brandon and big rami will compete at the columbus ohio r classic i don't know if he will compete at the australian one but if he will compete at the australian r classic no way that Kevin Laroni will win it against a, a, a peaking Big Rami. You forget about it. But if Kevin would get a top three, top six placement, or I don't care about the placement, even a pr improvement, if he would look good for his circumstances, let's say it that way, and he would, if he would improve from the Mr. Olympia 2016 in the legs department, that would be already enough for me as a fan to have the biggest respect for him because i think it's not about placements anymore that was in his competing time now it's like a comeback time 
and artists don't think that it's about placements anymore. It's just to prove that you can still um, play with the professionals, even if you're retired for 15 years and you're over 50. So we will see what will happen. Like I said, if Dennis Dennis wants to compete there, if Dennis will look like he used to look, Dennis Wolf, he already won our Classic Ohio in two, uh, three years ago. He will definitely be over Kevin. If Rami will compete there, he will be over Kevin. If Brandon competes there, he will probably be over Kevin. Nathan, I don't know. Ruli, I don't know if he'll compete there. So it will be hard for Kevin, but it's also dependent on who else will compete there. So subscribe to my channel please follow me on instagram too link in the description wish you all the best and write your video ideas in the comment section bye